Advanced Steel 2017 provides a new automatic joint to create bridging for purlins and side rails. You can find the tool in the connection vault. You can pick the rafter, the second rafter, and then pick all the purlins either by one by one or with the window selection. You get a few options in the command line to specify how you want to sort the order of the purlins and if you want to create a girl fruit, and the joint creates a series of beams between the purlins on the roof. The layout of the beams is specified by the round door, and the round door itself has standard spacings attached, which are based on the percentage of the span of the two rafters. When you change this, the number of beams gets changed. The other thing that we have the ability to do is adjust what happens at each end of the beam. You can choose, for example, to have beams being attached with a clamp at the end, and it can be different between the start and the end of the beam. When we change the information, it automatically changes the commodity number information that you can find in the properties dialog box of the beam. And this information can be displayed on the drawing and on the bill of material. That's one scenario. The second scenario is if you use this new feature between side rails, because the tool is working for roofs and also for walls. Just pick the two columns and then the side rails, and the bridging system with a series of vertical beams is automatically inserted between the side rails. Again, you can modify any parameters available in the dialog box. It is creating holes in the members as you can see here. Using the bridging tool allows you to be more productive when modeling coral sections and their specific connections.